April 28th. Uh, here's an update on uh, what I've been doing lately on the uh, SK120. Walking over towards it. Body's still sitting in the same position. <laughs> Haven't really done anything with that. But I have actually uh, done quite a bit to the uh, chassis. Basically, I've got uh, all of the brakes on, uh, all four wheels. This is the right rear. It's got its hub on. I've got uh, all the brake lines on. The sh rebuilt shocks are on. And here's a sample of uh, one of the, the rear brakes. What it looks like. All rebuilt shoes and wheel cylinders and all that good stuff. New springs. Uh, actually have all the brake lines. I've got the steering box on the car now. Steering wheel, the column. Front brakes. What they look like. Haven't put on the wheel bearings yet. I would be doing that probably tomorrow. Got the new shocks on. And got the uh, master cylinder. Uh, dual steel master cylinder and um, we're in the front here's what all that front suspension looks like it's kind of complicated when you haven't done it before but it's, it's doable and um, the other side over here got the uh, sway bar shocks, all new suspension rubber, new ball joints, all new brake shoes, a lot of work. Here's another picture of the uh, master cylinder set up with the brake pedal kind of in place. And the brake lines swing around to both sides. Working on the uh, the gas line right now, copper tube with a. Uh, this is a flexible gas line that will be hooked up to uh, carburetion on the car when the en engine's in place. And then uh, working on the tubing for the. Uh, this is a fuel pump right here. Got the uh, tubing. Need to do some soldering on it still. Uh, the next thing I'll be doing is. Uh, Putting on the spring gaiters. These uh, these are uh, things that go on uh, actually on the on the bottom of each spring. It wraps around it, and there's little oil oil fittings there, or grease fittings. And um, so I've been doing quite a bit of work. Still need to uh, do a little bit of. Uh, Refinement on the on the front end suspension. There's a little uh, bushing that needs to be replaced. Um, what else am I going to be doing? I can't really put the uh, U joints in yet, or the uh, drive shaft. Not quite ready for that. Uh, almost at the point where I'm going to put on the um, these big long things down here are torsion bars. Get those on. Once I get on the wheel bearings. Uh, bushings and whatnot. I'll be uh, putting on those hubs down there, and then I'll guess the next big project after a few little detail things. I'll be coming over and uh, sandblasting five of these wire wheels, getting those ready for paint. Then I'll probably take this radiator and have it uh, rotted and rebuilt and replace uh, some of the fishing fittings like this fitting right here and uh, get that all painted and get it installed on the front of the car with the chassis rather and uh, I guess the next thing after that will be to um, take the transmission off the engine uh, take the carburetors off and put the uh, engine on this engine stand here and uh, basically 
start working on the engine, get it all ready. And I hope to have that done by the end of May and have the engine on the chassis. So I'll have a... And then during, during uh, I guess, June, I will uh, buy some uh, uh, bias ply tires, the original factory issued tires, and put them on the car. And then I'll lower the... Uh, basically take the uh, chassis off of the uh, jack stands down here <clears throat> and have a rolling chassis. I'll put the engine in it, tweak it out. We've still got the gas tank to go in the back here. I have that being worked on right now. A friend of mine is uh, doing some fi fixing dents and leaks and things. So the gas tank will be put in. Uh, everything else, I, I know there's more that I'm going to be doing to the chassis here, but uh, yeah, when I get the engine I've got a uh, stainless steel exhaust system, a dual exhaust I'll be putting on, and uh, yeah, I forget what else, um, hooking up all the fittings and whatnot. So this guy will be ready, then I'll basically put this uh, over out of the way a little bit, start working on this body over here, and uh, there is some body work that needs to be still done, a few little things down here in the corner. Yeah, this trunk has got some some dings and dents and a few things, but it's overall pretty good shape. Um, has a little piece of wood that needs fixing. Body's in pretty good shape. Uh, there is some stuff. Fenders are looking good. No, no problems with those. I think I've already documented uh, all the welding and stuff that's already have been done to the car. And main main problem I'm going to have to deal with is well, not really a problem, but uh, some of the dings on the on the fenders here. There's some minor dings, just those are pretty easy to work out. And the front right bumper is um, it's a little bit in too far, but I can I can work that out. So, uh, June, July, August, uh, somewhere around there towards the end of summer, um, I'm hoping I have all the body work done, um, possibly the body painted with luck, and uh, probably I'll have to rent a booth somewhere and, and have the whole uh, body wheeled onto a flatbed, taken to the booth, and I'll, I'll do my own painting. Um, underneath, inside out, and uh, it's going to be pretty neat. So then uh, somewhere before Christmas, I'll put the body back on the chassis over here and uh, hook it all up and then start working on the interior. So I've got most of the interior parts um, already purchased. Got all the uh, upholstery stuff up here in boxes. The seats are uh, done. Or work, their uh, upholstery is done, but I haven't got them installed on the seats yet. Uh, got some seat frames. The seats go on, and a lot of uh, trim and bumper brackets on the floor and gas tank uh, trays. Doors have to be worked on. There's a lot of work on those. But um, it's going to come together once I get to a certain point. It'll just all come together pretty quick. <clears throat> I've got uh, probably about $26,000 in parts that I bought over the last three years. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of money, but um, it's all investment. Um, so anyway, so that's kind of an update. Uh, I guess I'll sign off for now. Looking pretty cool. This thing's going to look cool when it's all put back together.